Good day ladies and gentlemen, Rosa here of Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions. Our video for today is about the survey results from Magdolo which was released yesterday by Mr. Anthony Taberna. As always we shall quantify the survey results, the preference shares of each presidential candidate for all of us to be able to make a better sense of what the figures may actually mean. Before we start, may we first make a few simple requests. Please don't skip ads as this allows us to remain independent. Second, we have noticed that a lot of viewers have not subscribed yet. Please do so, it would help us a lot. If you like the video, kindly share it so you can help us to inform others of relevant information. Lastly, we promote a healthy discourse in the comment portion. Just be mindful of the words you use as this is a direct reflection of you as a person. Thank you. The Magda Law Survey was conducted from April 5 to 7. It has 2,918 respondents using face-to-face -face interview. It has a margin of error of plus minus 1.89%. Let us now look at the nationwide results of our vice presidential candidates in descending order. Davao City Mayor Indri Sara Duterte leads all vice presidential aspirants with 54.4% preference shares nationwide. She is followed by Senate President Tito Sato with 27.8%. Senator Kiko Pangilinan is third with 12.8% preference shares. At fourth is Doc Willie Ong with 3.3%. He is followed by Representative Lito Otienza with 1%. There was no undecided reported. Let us now quantify the survey results. We shall compute for the possible number of votes of each vice presidential aspirant based on the Magdal Law Survey preference share results by equating their percentages with the total number of registered voters based on Comelec figures. Next we shall compute for the number of estimated votes based on the approximated turnout of 82%, this figures is the voter turnout last national elections. By doing so, this would provide a clearer picture of the possible votes that the candidates may garner if elections were held at the end of the study period. In descending order, Davao City Mayor Indui Sara Duterte's 54.4% preference share is approximately equivalent to 29,566,400 votes. Senate President S.P. Sato's 27.8% is equivalent to around 15,109,300 votes. Senator Kiko Pangilinan's 12.8% preference share is approximately 6,956,800 votes. Doc Willie Ong's 3.3% preference share is estimated to garner around 1,793,550 votes. Representative Lito Otienza's 1% preference share is approximately around 543,500 votes. Let us now compute for the estimated vote lead of the first rank to the third rank vice presidential candidates. We shall deduct their estimated number of votes. For the first rank Davao City Mayor Indui Sara Duterte and second rank Senate President Tito Soto, this would yield a 14,457,000 vote lead in favor of Uniteam Vice Presidential Candidate Mayor Indui Sara. Yes. The estimated vote lead of Mayor Indri Sara over SP Sato is approximately 14.45 million votes based on the Magdal Law Survey. In the case of first-ranked Davao City Mayor Indri Sara and third-ranked Vice Presidential Aspirant Senator Kiki Pangilinan, by doing the same mathematical procedure, it would yield Mayor Indri Sara's lead of Senator Kiko is approximately around 22,609,600 votes. 
And in the case of 2nd rank SP Sato and 3rd rank Senator Kiko Pangilinan, SP Sato would have an estimated lead of 8 million. 152,500 votes over Senator Kiko. Let us now look at the presidential preference results based on the Magdal Law Survey of April 5 to 7, 2022. There were no registered undecided for this study. In descending order, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has 60.9% preference shares. VP Lenny Robredo is second and she has 23.4% preference shares. She is followed in third place by Senator Manny Pacquiao with 6% preference shares. Next at fourth is Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso with 5.35%. He is followed by Senator Ping Laxon with 2.6% preference share nationwide. Let us now look back at our own Collier survey summary period April 1 to 10, 2022 with 3,000 respondents whose distribution were based on the Comelec's number of registered voters per region. This has almost the same margin of error with the Magdal Law survey as well as the number of respondents. As such, this comparison can be made. Based on data science, that surveys with different methodologies can be compared as long as their sample size and the margin of error are similar and their overall target population are the same. These factors should be considered to prevent skewed results and faulty observations. In descending order, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leads all presidential aspirants with a 62% preferential share nationwide. He is followed by VP Lenny Robredo in second place with 18.4%. She is followed by Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso at third place with 6.5%. Next is Senator Ping Laxon with 5%. He is followed by Senator Manny Pacquiao at fifth place with 4.6% preference shares. Let us now compare the results between Magdal Law and Splat Communication Survey results for the month of April. Kindly focus your attention to the bottom row enclosed in the red rectangle. In a glimpse, it can be seen that the two studies did not yield a major or significant statistical difference. In the case of the figures for Senator Ping Laken, there is a 2.4% difference in the preference shares. In the case of Senator Manny Pacquiao's preference share figures, the difference is just 2.1%. In the case of the numbers of VP Lenny Robredo, the difference is 5% while Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso, as preference share has 1.2% and former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s figures show just a 1.1% preference share. What does this mean? This means that the Magdal Law Survey and the Call Yes Survey Summary presented have basically similar results as it validates each other. Let us now quantify the results of the Magdal Law Survey with study period April 5 to 7, 2022. Like what we did earlier with the vice presidential results, we shall compute for the estimated vote lead taking to account the possible voter turnout of 82%. Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s 60.9% preference share is approximately equivalent to 33,708,150 votes. Second rank VP Lenny Robredo, who has 23.4% preference share is estimated to be around 12,951,900 votes. Senator Manny Pacquiao's 6.3% is equivalent to 3,424,050 votes. Manila Mayor Isco Domegoso's 5.3% preference share is approximately equivalent to 2,880,550 votes while Senator Ping Laxon's 2.6% is equivalent to around 1,439,100 votes.
After the quantification of the preference shares of all our presidential candidates, we shall now compute for the vote leads of the first to third rank candidates. In the case of the first rank former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and second rank VP Lenny Robredo. After the simple mathematical operation, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s lead is estimated to be around 20,756,250 votes over VP Lenny. We repeat, based on the Magda Law survey. Former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. will have an estimated lead of around 20.7 million votes. BBM's lead over third-ranked Senator Manny Pacquiao is approximately around 30,284,100 votes. In the case of second-ranked VP Lenny and third-ranked Senator Manny, VP Lenny Robredo is estimated to garner a 9,527,850 votes. Splat analysis, this analysis is our own opinion based on the quantified data that we have just presented. Everyone is free to agree or disagree with it. However, being in disagreement does not give anyone the right to lose his or her humanity by mocking people and throwing baseless accusations. Let us now divide the, the lead of first-ranked Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. over second-ranked VP Lenny with the remaining 24 days before the elections to make better sense of the enormous implications of this figure. The camp of second-ranked VP Lenny Robredo needs to gain or convert an average of 864,844 voters per day. In the case of third-ranked Senator Manny Pacquiao, his camp should be able to gain or convert approximately 1,261,838 votes per day just to be able to tie BBM's votes. Let us allow all of these to sink in. What can you say? We have reached the end of today's video, in behalf of my partner Rina and the rest of the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team, thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.